Hi, I'm Dr. Hisham, and I'm here today to introduce you to my new PBM light photo biomodulation light bulb for home use. So that's what the box looks like, that's what the bulb looks like, and I'll explain to you a little bit about why it's better than all other home use ones and why I actually designed it. It's designed this way. So first of all, an, an acknowledgement. Photo biomodulation, red and near infrared light therapy, the science is 40 years plus and more and more is coming all the time. So it's not a new invention, it, it's not unique to anybody, it's not patentable anyway. The question is how to do it best, as in the best dose, the best safe dose, the best repeatable methodology, and make sure that it's like it doesn't get hot, for example, as I'll show it in a second with some of these other devices, so that you can actually come close, stay close, because it's how much light you absorb that really makes a difference. So having said that, the best device, without a shadow of, of a doubt, is the Nobothor. That is unchallengeable. That's why we have one here. The first one, the first one here, obviously, for a reason, because it is full photobiomodulation, full body from head to toe. Obviously, you don't have your clothes on, just your lower underwear when you're lying in there. Just a quick, for those who don't, who don't know what it looks like, it's that. So, so the light is above you, beneath you, in a very concentrated, full body, coherent, so all your body cells are raising their energetic vibration at the same time, all the mitochondria absorbing the same amount of, of light at the same time. Nothing beats that. That's, that goes without saying. However, I totally understand and know and acknowledge from, from experience. You know, I'm 20 years in, in, in this, not business, in this, in this profession basically, of intentionally learning and studying and becoming, making my own self uh, the, the expert on lasers, light, photobiomodulation, everything else. So I've tried and I've tested and I own so many lasers, class four medical lasers, cutting lasers, photobiomodulators, little gadgets and toys and things that I just want to know, do they work, do they not work? It's not about the science of the light, it's the devices that apply them. So having studied all these things and tested all these things, I know for a fact, and owning the Novothor for, for two years now and becoming an ambassador for them as well, I know for a fact that not everybody has access to a Novothor, simple. Whether it's not in your city, not in your town, you don't have the 140,000 US dollars to have one at home, like Tony Robbins and Tom Cruise have many of them and many other individuals have it at home. I don't have one at home. <laughs> so whether you don't have access to one, it's not near you, or even if you have access to one near you, you must have something to do photobiomodulation with repeatedly at home, safely, easily, cheaply enough, yet well enough to be done repeatedly and predictably. And this is why I went out of my way, testing and testing panels, lights, everything else over many years now actually, um, until I came up with this design. This is my own design. I designed the bulb, of course I don't make it myself, but I designed the bulb intentionally what I want in it. So it's got the, it's got 24 LEDs, 12 of them are near infrared, 850 nanometer near infrared light, and uh, 12 of them are red. I'll show you in a second when it's on how it looks like. It's got a metal casing out here, aluminum metal casing and a fan to keep it cool because if you go too far from any of these lights, like some of these cheap lights that I've purchased before I designed my own, these you can get them actually for a very similar price to this one cost me 190 US dollars on Amazon um, and there's many websites that sell similar ones to these. Plastic Casing, not metal casing, plastic all the way, no fan, a lot fewer LEDs, 12 LEDs versus 24 LEDs, and quite widespread, which means the light defocuses quickly. And then when you put your hand on it or you bring it too close, it gets too hot. They will all get hot, they will all, all produce heat. That's why you need the fan, you need the metal casing to dissipate the heat, and also you need to focus the light, not dissipate it too much. And the, 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 the angles of these lights, um, the covers, basically the lens. It's, it's not a real lens, but anyway, the cover should act as a lens. Instead of letting the light defocus, we have a, not this is not a laser, it's an LED. We have the lasers somewhere else, that's a whole different story, but you can't have those at home anyway. They're not safe for eye use, and you've got to be a professional to know what you're doing. Um, the, the little covers here have a 25 degree angle versus a 60 degree angle, which means the light comes out 
more focused and, and then of course anyway it becomes defocused after that so it's all coming into a certain area rather than just spread out when it's too spread out light when it spreads out and it always does it weakens it attenuates and very very quickly like one centimeter versus two versus three is a huge amount of attenuation of, of the light you need it you need to be close to it as we are in the Novotor, for example, you need to be close to it without this overheating so you can stay there for 10, 15, 20 minutes. And also you need the light coming out of here to be as focused and coherent as possible so that it comes out to one area rather than just spread out. Looks cool, looks red anyway, as, as you can see from my light here, the Dr. Hisham's PBM light versus this other brand and really, it, there's many of these uh, out there. This one is quite focused. As you can see there, this one is much more defocused, spreads out. And of course, you can see the red lights, but you can't see the infrared. So the, LED, the LEDs that look like they're off here are actually infrared, same as, as here. Fo more focused, much more defocused, and much weaker, much attenuated. And you can see actually there's spaces in between where there is no light at all. I don't know if it's clear on the camera, but you you can check that later and the design of it itself. Now, why did I go with a bulb versus panels? And I own and I've tested many panels all over the world. Panels like these, which also do the same. So the light is the same. Near infrared, red, that's cool. No problem there. Like I said, the science is all the same. While it does, it does have a fan, it's very big, very bulky, very heavy. They can get quite expensive as well. And it, it does get hot. So how do you lie on this? Because we're talking about home use. We're not talking about the noble throw here. We're talking about home use. And everybody should have this at home, something like that at home. How do you hold it? Where do you place it? How do you lie down on it? You can't position it anywhere properly except standing up or you can buy multiple of these. There's many companies that do that. They sell you multiple of them. You can put them on a wall. Now, it's a great idea, however, to stand in front of a wall for 10, 15 minutes and anything below that, you're not doing anything repeatedly remember the most important part here is repeatability if this therapy this uh, method of enhancing human human physiology is not repeatable it doesn't work you don't you can't just do it once i'm like oh i'm cool done for for, for a year it doesn't work that way so you're going to stand in front of a wall of panels like this for 15 minutes one side and another 15 minutes the other side to get your whole body how often will you do that it's tiring, it's exhausting, it's boring, which means you won't do it enough. You come too close, they get too hot, you go too far, light dissipates. And then there's the expense as well. So that's, that, that was my issue with the, with the panels. Nothing wrong with the lights themselves, it's the, the whole device. And like I said, how easy it is to use, how cheap it is to use, and how predictable. Um, many other devices are too small. This, this is like... I think it was $1,500 or something like that. And all it is, it's one little infrared LED here and a couple of red LEDs that go into the nose. Again, the science is good about the light, but really the device for $1,500 with a control unit, just to, like what, you're gonna, just the, the pineal gland. I will talk about the pineal gland later. It's not a bad thing, it's a very good thing, very important thing, but that's all you're doing there, really, for $1,500 compared to $250, mm, not really. Uh, then you have these little cheap face masks, which there's many of them. Some are bigger, some are smaller. You have these lamps that uh, beauty therapists use. Uh, the science is the same, like I said. The application is, is what matters here, and predictability and repeatability. That's really what matters the most. So with my light, as you can see here, you can screw it into any. This is one of them there. You can screw it into any E27 lamp. So any standard lamp that you have at home, it could be pretty, it could be cheap, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, I don't care. doesn't matter, really any um, lamp that you have at home or any cheap old lamp holder as well, you can use these. And it's 50, it's 50 watts, well, 48 watts to be more precise. So 48 watt bulb, which means you can even build a whole wall, <laughs> really, out of this if, if you want. You can have an electrician build up a wall for you with all these little sockets and multiple of these and you will have that wall that you can stand in front of. The point is I want you to do it every day if you can or at least every two days at home. That's why instead of buying just one, which you can buy on our website of course, you can buy just one, save yourself the money when you buy two because 
you will get obviously a lot more light coverage of, of your body, but it will give you this light holder, which is not my design or my manufacturing, basically. This is just a beautiful light holder that makes it easy to hold the light like this. So if you're gonna do 10 minutes or 15 minutes in one area, why don't you do double the amount of light? That's, that's what I'm saying. Use the time effectively rather than just one, one little spot. So this turns on, you can turn one or both on. <clears throat> you can rotate them. You can put it on a tripod, just any cheap old tripod. So you can hold it somewhere while you're working, for example. I have one next to my stand-up desk at home. So while I'm working, this is on a tripod there. You can put this on the couch while you're sitting and watching TV or doing your emails. You can put it in bed. You can put it next to a sore knee. We'll talk about uses and functions, benefits in, in other videos, uh, but just generally, generally, very basic stuff here. Who will benefit from repeated red and near infrared photobiomodulation therapy? The answer is everyone. Every, actually, <laughs> every living creature, let's put it this way, every human, every animal, and even, even plants. But let's stick with humans and animals. Okay. If you have an injury, obviously. You have pain, you have sore, chronic pain from arthritis, from uh, bad knees from whatever basically, sciatic pain like I had before, that's obvious. So people with active inflammation, either from a recent injury or chronic inflammation, that's the primary target. You will feel the pain start to dissipate. You will feel the blood flow, you'll feel your, your movement getting better. 10, 15 minutes into the session you feel, ah, this is changing. That's very obvious. Now beyond injuries and chronic pain and chronic inflammation, who benefits like I said? Everybody all the time. Because you see, we're either constantly degenerating, basically stagnating the flow, the biophotonic flow, therefore degenerating, or we're activating our bioenergetic biophotonic flow and therefore regenerating. That's a choice. The default is attack, stress, viruses, bacteria, uh, toxins, whatever, just, you know, dead cells, dying cells. The, 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 the default is slow stagnation, progressive stagnation, progressive degeneration. We can actively though, regenerate. So choose to regenerate all the time. And the key word is all the time, so that your skin looks better, your collagen looks better, your brain gets smarter, your pineal gland, when, when that activates, your whole energetic flow gets better. Your muscle um, flowability, your, your tendons, your, uh, your general flow of your whole body, your microbiome in your guts, gets better, literally everything gets better. You become smarter, you become more flowing, you release. You can release stem cells from your sternum and your tibia by shining it here. One, and I, like I said, I'll talk about this in other videos uh, more specifically and give you examples, but if you just think, I don't have an injury, I don't have a, an active pain right now, that makes it obvious where to put it obviously, where do I apply this light every day for improved overall wellness, intelligence, activity by activation. The answer is think about your chakras. Where are the chakras? Perineum, solar plexus, sternum, thyroid, and, 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 and the whole neck region basically, and of course the head, the middle of the head, pineal gland, the, the sinuses, well, you, you can do the top of the head as well, but especially if you have a lot of hair, unlike me, <laughs> the, the light might not go through the hair very well. So focus on this area here, focus on that area there, focus on lower perineum, which you can do at home, obviously, privately, in your own privacy. Um, so these are the light-sensitive areas that affect everything else. So if you just do that, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, uh, change the position of that every day, you will feel better and better and become more resistant and resilient. You become more resilient, as in stronger, and, and not just stronger against something, but stronger in your own well-being, but also more resistant to attack by viruses, bacteria, toxins, uh, stress, and all of the above. So become more resistant, become more resilient, regenerate instead of degenerate, do it intentionally, use photobiomodulation every single day if you can. And may, you, may the light be with you. Until I see you next time, always aim to look better, feel better, and be better. Thank you.